Christmas Day present for you. NBA basketball, and it's brought to you by ESPN on EA Sports. I'm Jalen Rose. The Cleveland Cavaliers have themselves a matchup against the Miami Heat. ESPN's number one team of Mike Breen and Jeff Van Gundy are ready with the call. Welcome to Miami, Florida, and the American Airlines Arena. It's a Christmas Day special here on ESPN as we get set for the Cleveland Cavaliers looking for the win on the road against the Miami Heat. As this one gets underway, what's the game plan here for the Cavs? Chuck Daly told me once, never trust happiness. And I don't with this team. I don't trust that they're going to continue to do all the right things that they're doing to be in this position right now as one of the top teams in the NBA. If they are able to handle the pats on the back and the well wishes, and they continue these habits going forward, they have the talent to be able to compete for an NBA championship. Dang the jumper. Berejau with the rebound. Irving coming across. Oh, showing off that handle. Shoots it for two. Irving shot it off target. against James and now he moves around the defender and lays it in nicely. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. Kyrie Irving with the ball in possession. Yeah, Pat Riley knew they couldn't come back with the same roster. They made the necessary changes. This team looks ready for another title run. Well, they had to rejuvenate themselves, and they made the changes necessary to do that. Listen, you need your stars. They've got them. But you've got to surround them with guys who complement the stars' skills. And now Miami, uh, after a great four-year run, they've done that, and they should be right back in the championship hunt again. Chalmers in possession. The two defenders swarm to the rim. Lays it in. Outstanding body control and then the ability to still finish and concentrate on sometimes mesmerized by what these athletes can do. As Miami's called for their first team foul. Chris and Kyrie Irving will go to the line. He's shooting 86% from the line this season. You know, as Kyrie Irving heads the line, he may not resemble him as far as explosiveness, but to me, his demeanor, Kyrie Irving's, is, is similar to Derrick Rose's. Humbleness, team first, just an unselfishness when it comes to not only how he plays, but how he handles all the accolades that are coming his way. I think Kyrie Irving has the perfect demeanor to lead Cleveland to where they want to get to in the future. Wade has the double team converge. Chalmers from three point territory. Can't connect from way downtown. Irving takes it to the rim. Look, you can't give up layups like that. You got to protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Miller against Wade. James on the drive. Verizal looking to dupe the defense, draws the double team, nicely executed. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good way. the full 24 seconds on the shot clock, forcing the offensive team to take a low percentage shot. It's the backboard and out of play. 
last substitutions as both teams mix it up. prettier than the spot up three point shot. That one was dead center right from the start. And LeBron James with the jump shot. Knocks it down for three. I want to see that replay again. Here we go. That's a big time shot right there. The Heat on the move. They double him. for three from the corner. James the rebound. The Cavaliers with the ball in control. James draws the double team. In the first quarter. Quick move to get inside. James for three with another shot. Off the mark from downtown. Wade set to bring it up. Dang. Byers converts on the inside. Two points. The assist from number three, Dwayne Wade, showing off the handle here. James, as the double team throws in, nails it. Two-point lead for Cleveland. Queued up and ready to go. Here's that play one more time. To the rim, nice adjustment, but an easy layup, but it won't go. The defensive timing in when to come to double is critical. You come high, hard, and to the offensive player's body so that there is no room to split or get to the basket. What you want to do is either force the pass or the junction. First free throw, good. For two at the line. 18, Mike Miller. The two defenders converge. Final seconds. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Cleveland up by four. More basketball here on Christmas Day on ESPN after the break. Solid basketball here in the first quarter. It's been kind of a feeling out.